perhaps interesting for everyone, my viewers and everyone uh, who likes to do these experiments like I did. Uh, it's about uh, here the cathode ray tube scope um, and I want especially to make it for experiments so that you can say see deflection of the plates the horizontal and the vertical plates related to electronic components so that's the idea of this um, setup anyway um, here is say the kind of frame that I've made with wood but of course we know that a, a cath cathode ray tube at least when it is electrostatic needs protection and I've made here say a kind of hood of tin plate here you can see it all tin plate uh, to which the tube here this is the tube will be slided in to protect especially the very sensitive plates electrostatic plates horizontal and vertical plates they are driven by a certain voltages static voltages and it means that when you don't shield here the tube in such a say metal hood I slide it in now here so when you don't uh, use such a in my case tin plate um, coverage of the electrostatic plates uh, it could be that you see very strange distortions when you want to do measurements etc etc so anyway um, here is that tin plate again when you look at a uh, uh, serious oscilloscope tube uh, schematics they will often use here not tin plate but other materials because tin plate it is steel very thin steel it can be magnetized and that means that the the beam inside the tube uh, can get a serious distraction here from at the front so when say this steel steel plate here gets magnetized by whatever reason you will see a distraction here from uh, uh, the, the middle of the screen where the electron beam hits the screen to the to one side to the left side to the right side etc etc but I have to say I've made a four times these types of oscilloscopes they are also in my book by the way uh, and I never never had a problem with that so uh, you can use tin plate instead of say uh, more elaborated materials anyway uh, here is a, the tube again I stick it in now here and I've made at the back side a few connections I want to show them I had I did not have say a precise uh, plug or foot uh, to connect the pins to so I had to do it in my own way uh, swirled around some copper wire made a kind of tube with it with that and uh, slided it into the pins here these two pins are by the way not used but any way uh, and after that I used uh, say the standard crimp plastic here heated it up a little bit 
So now I have here um, 12 or less or 13 connections that I can solder to. And that's very important and of course uh, there must be no contact resistance between say all the connections to the cathode ray tube etc etc. So this is say the more or less good hobby way to make these connections. And finally, by the way, this is what, what it's all about. Um, I've used here a piece of Pertinax. That's a Dutch word, but when you are a little bit acquainted, you will surely directly see the type of material out of which this was made. And that will be mounted here at the underside of the tube. So here, here, and then I make the soldering connections to all the electrodes here. I have to do that, uh, have to make that these electrodes, I'm going to make them with twisted blank copper wire and uh, I've of course indicated here where all the say important connections are. So here we have the filament, filament, the cathode, the brightness grid, the focus grid, the vertical plates and the horizontal plates and the acceleration electrode. So in fact looks a little bit complicated but is very very simple when you know a little bit about say how electrons move. Anyway a good idea to make twisted copper wire is this. Uh, say take two, two parts here two parts of copper wire here uh, put them into your here this this thing etc and then I want to demonstrate it let this motor run so here this and then you have perfectly, really perfectly, in terms of electronics, entwined wires. And of course that does not, this, that uh, does not also regard to this circuit, but anyway, here perfectly entwined, etc, etc. So, going to work further on the circuit, and when uh, I have new things or better things. I will keep you informed. Thanks for watching. Here that connection plate again with all the electrodes inside the tube. So anyway, even when such a tube is Outside this box, it's say a kind of beauty. And very useful. And like I told, the idea is to make this not a kind of standard oscilloscope tube, but uh, develop a circuit via which you can say measure basic things of um, uh, phase or waves, sine waves, etc, etc. And in the first uh, attempt I will try to use the sine wave uh, to be connected to the horizontal plates. And then look what's happening when we 
want to use that to test components, electronic components, uh, transformers or perhaps even capacitors. Thanks for watching.